one, not unlike a lot of coins, if you could say that about Dogecoin also, we talked, at least I've talked about it with, re with regards to Cardano. Nothing really has material changed with, with Ripple either. I mean, the head and shoulders bottom that I talked about o over a couple of months ago, uh, you know, still is in play. The neckline is in, has been support along with the November high here. Uh, you know, there's not really a lot to say about Ripple. Its correlation with Bitcoin has been falling off, and that can be seen just by eyeballing the chart. It's been moving sideways. It's got no price traction at all. Uh, the news from from Bitcoin. Uh, one one dollar obviously is a key psychological level. You know, and right now this is stuck in a trading range between the neckline at 176 or 178 or 78, sorry, and 76 and one dollar so unless there's a close below either level uh, it's difficult to to offer an outlook other than being neutral on, on the cryptocurrency at this point if we close above one then we're going to start exploring the possibility of, of going up to the 38.2 retracement of the may correction which is at 114 and, and closely corresponds with the with the 50-day simple moving average at 118 that would probably be pretty solid resistance as it comes into an area of price congestion related to the, the 20th and 21st of May, and then also the low of the 13th of May also would be, that would be a difficult level. That would yield you approximately a 30% gain from the current price, which is definitely respectable. Uh, on the downside, a close below 176 for me, you'll, you'll quickly sweep below the, the 200 day simple moving average and I think also sweep below the 65 cents which we achieved on May 23rd and then after that it's sort of free it's there's a big vacuum down here where it could really fall apart I don't suspect that'll be the case I think that it will hold that May 19th low or May 23rd low sorry but for now it's range bound I carry a neutral outlook unless there's closes above one or below one point seven six. Indeed, interesting, very interesting. So basically, as, as it stays right now, you're a little bit leaning more neutral, right? You want to yeah, wait so. for this thing to just wait for this thing to kind of like close above resistance or below support before actually yeah. leaning to any side, right? Yeah, I would use it. I would use those levels as swing trading opportunities and. Until you get closes above or below, uh, I would leave it at that. I see. 